So this is my uh, Japanese gate truck that one of my airmen wrecked. And with the cabin being part of the frame and these trucks being so cheap, this, this isn't really going to be worth fixing. So I kind of got the idea of trying to convert it to a fake cyber truck at 50% scale with the wheelbase and the dimensions of the truck comes out pretty close but the uh, main problem I'm gonna have is the driver's seat is directly over the front tire while well, as the cyber truck it's almost in the middle uh, I was gonna take the whole cabin off try to move the driver's seat backwards move the steering wheel backwards a little bit but I think I'm just gonna leave it where it is cut the top cabin off and then uh, see if I can try to make these dimensions line up properly with the, the glass coming almost directly over the steering wheel at a high angle and then maybe tint the side windows pretty dark so it doesn't look so fake or out of place but yeah this truck isn't really worth saving in Japan maybe if it's in America but uh there she is so I'm working on taking out the dash hopefully with the dash clear I can uh, get some higher angle on the glass to go to the front end of the cyber truck uh, I didn't have time to learn Japanese on how to take this dash out so I broke out my trusty translator was good I'm able to get in now yeah so the reason I took the dash out uh, I wanted to have a higher angle of the glass coming up over the driver's head it's gonna be pretty sketchy for daily driving it's obviously not gonna pass any inspections but it might look uh, closer to scale for the cyber truck and I'm not gonna try to register this thing obviously it's gonna be probably used in a K car race if I'm able to complete it in time and the accident smashed in the front end here and broke most of the HVAC plastic so we'll see if I can recover some of this and maybe have some at least defrost for the race day or uh, well there's no AC in this truck so probably have natural AC anyway during the race So one of the problems I'm going to be facing here is that I did want to cut this uh, cabin as far as I can go down, but right here we have support brackets for the steering wheel, steering column. Um, I'll probably still cut these off and probably weld uh, something in place that will go to the frame down here and just cut right above where I support it try to avoid this booster here um, but yeah it's gonna be a lot of uh, fabrication and ghetto but hopefully it'll come out good